You wanna go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. Come on, let's go to the park. Madison Rogers loves spending time with her dogs. And we're off. But doesn't love driving all the way to Columbia to get to a dog park. By the time I got home, got them, got in the car and drove 30 minutes over there, it'd be closed. She would like to have a park closer to home. I wouldn't have to drive as far, I wouldn't have to get up as early, I could go more often. As a member of Sesquicentennial Park in Columbia, <coughs> she spends over an hour of drive time to get there and back. It's very inconvenient with gas prices to have to drive all the way out here, but that's why I'm looking forward to the dog park coming to Lexington. The property being considered for a new dog park is located in Virginia Hilton Park in Lexington. The possibility of this dog park has raised concerns for mothers like Jamie Dodson. Everybody's going to say, oh, my dog doesn't bite, you know, but you never know. Park director Dan Walker says that misconceptions about dogs are normal, but are being careful and will monitor the types of dogs allowed in. You don't want aggressive dogs in there. You want to make sure they've been vaccinated. Uh, so these are kind of things we're taking into account. Although the layout has not been finalized yet, certain criteria will go into building this park. They're looking at fencing off about two acres of land, complete with keypads, water stations, and even a dog shower. The park will be funded by the town at a cost estimated at about $92,000. Walker says Virginia Hilton is not the only site being considered, but another county-owned site would have to be approved before making a final decision on the park's location. We're trying to work out this deal with the county right now. At that point, then we can move forward. We're probably looking at budgeting money in next year's uh, budget. Real estate broker Ronnie Wingard says $92,000 is too much to pay for a dog park. Prior to this, there were uh, taxes being paid to the town and the county for this, for this property, and now it's off the tax roll, so it's not taxed anymore, so that tax revenue is, is gone. Ronnie wants to know who's going to pay for the upkeep. You have to hire more people to keep these things up. You have more people on the payroll, and then you have to raise taxes in order to pay these people. While some wish to keep the park the way it is. So should they have their own park somewhere else? Uh-huh. OK, well, the two-year-old said it. <laughs> Dog owners like Madison say they would benefit from the new park. I think everybody's got their own ideas of what Lexington could be spending money on. To me personally, this would be a good investment. Whether the county takes into account these opinions or not, the location and cost are yet to be finalized. For Madison, the park can't come soon enough. Be glad when we don't have to make that trip anymore. Come on, everybody inside. Chelsea Parlor, Carolina Good News. Good girl.